Hi, my name is Dana Church and today I'm going to show you how to make Christmas ornaments with a scientific theme. Children are really interested in science if it's neat and, and fun. So one thing that you can do to do this is use borax. This is borax. It's like a laundry detergent thing really. But it can be used um, to cause crystallization on a pipe cleaner. So what you do, or Chanel Y, or whatever you want to call it, what you do first is you just take a container. I used a ball jar at this point, but you can use other things. And you're going to heat up uh, two cups of water or one cup of water. It depends on what size your ornament is going to be. But I did two cups of water, and I heated them up to a boil pretty much. But I heated mine in the microwave, so I didn't use this, of course. But I heated two cups, and I poured them in. And then what you do is you, um, step by step, you add one tablespoon at a time into the jar. Now this is cold, this has already been done, but you put one at a time in here, okay? And you have to make sure after you put that one in that you stir it up and let it dissolve. So for every cup of water, you have three tablespoons of borax. Um, and then you let that dissolve for a little while, just maybe a minute or two. Then you're going to take a pipe cleaner, or I used to call them that, but they're called Chanel wires, and you're going to bend it. I don't have an extra one here, but this, you get the idea. I've used the one that I like. Um, and you bend it into a shape. This one is a star shape, okay? Um, if you can't do that, you could just print out something from the Internet, and you could just lay the wire on here. This is what I did, and I just followed the pattern. I just bent it as I went along because you know it's easy to bend anyway. So, um, so yours is going to have the fuzzy stuff on it, but I just wanted to show you how to go through the process of bending that. So you get the shape that you want, and then what you're going to do is take, I just take a, a wire that you use to hang stuff on the Christmas tree with, and I put it on the top of this. Some people say you use string, but I found that this works just as good, and then when you're done, you're done. You don't have to add anything to it to hang it on the tree. So you take this, and you know you have to make sure it fits in here. I'm not sure this one will, but you make sure yours does. Or get a bigger mouth jar or whatever. And you're going to let it suspend it on a pencil. Curve the other part around the pencil. And you're going to get it so it's not touching. I'm not sure if mine is or not, and it came off right there. But you, you're not, all this is not going to happen. So you make sure that it's suspended in here like this. So you'll have your pencil, you'll have your wire, you get it just the right height, and you suspend it overnight, and you just leave it alone. You just put it over to the side, just like that, okay? Then the next morning when you wake up, you, believe it or not, have this. It is actually gorgeous. Um, the Chanel wire that I started with was green and shiny. So you should go out and get some kind of Christmas, you know, uh, Chanel wires like that. So you can see the green under it a little bit. And see how the crystallization process took place? It's really cool. I'm really excited about it. I love it. So it's stuck on there very good and thick because I tried a couple of them and this one really turned out great. So it just, as, as the borax cools, it crystallizes and sticks to the Chanel wire. And then you could talk some, about crystallization. I'm not going to talk about it, but you could talk about it. And that's a really interesting way for them to learn about that. And, if, and some people go on if they want to, and they spray it with a little um, shellac or, or stuff like that. But you don't really have to. You can just hang it on the tree just like that.